Hi, we had yet another user request around Instagram. This time, the user through our website asked if we could show them how to make a template, template to extract the likes off Instagram posts. They wanted to get the users from here. I thought, heck, why not? Let's show them how to do it. Because at the same time, I could add a template to our library for all our users to try out. And I could record a video to add to our YouTube channel so I can show you how to do this for yourself. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before I click run, before I show you the magic, just I'm going to quickly touch on what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you how to configure this template, which is available on our website. I'm going to take you through it step by step so you'll know how to build a bot from scratch yourself. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's just hit play and get this bot running. By the way, this bot I built completely in a few minutes without using any code. It's just using our no code bot builder, just adding steps, putting in a, a Google Sheet, selecting the element on the page. It's that easy. Now, quickly before I click run, I've got an empty Google Sheet here. You can see I've got no likes there. I've got a couple of posts that I want to loop through these two posts and extract the likes from. Now, in this initial run, I'm just going to get five likes from each post, but you can, of course, add, edit the amount of results you want to getting them all to doing five. Although I think there are some Instagram limits onto the amount of likes it will load into the page, so you may not be able to get a full data set, but you'll get a substantial amount. Okay, so let's just, enough chitter chatter, let's like click run. So this is the magic. I'm just going to run the bot. My hands are here now. I can keep talking, keep whilst a bot does my work i'll never get bored of that and never get tired of watching bots and indeed making them okay so this is the bot it's open the post it's going to go through the likes it's going to like i said just extract a small amount first then it's going to loop through the next post you can see in the background axiom removed the um, first post because it's done from the sheet and again it's op opening the second post and then Axiom won't be able to find any more posts after that and it will just stop itself it'll probably throw an error message something like empty URL there we go blank URL that's the bot stopped now did we get any data this was empty so let's just scroll up you can see we've got five um, likes. Um, what we've done here as well is we're just writing the link of the post where those URLs came down, where they were drawn from. So we have a bit of um, contextual knowledge about, about where those likes came from. That's pretty cool, huh? And you can build this all yourself, or you can use our template, all with a no-code tool. Don't have to be a programmer to get into bots. I'm not a very good programmer, believe it or not, but I'm actually getting pretty damn good myself at building bots and saving myself lots of time whilst really enjoying it. Anyway, I talk too much. Let me just go back to this bot. I'm gonna take you through it step by step how it was built so you can build it yourself. Let's just open a, a page. So Axioms are built in the browser and you literally interact with the page setting up your axiom at the same time very simple so if you've installed from the template all you're going to need to do is configure a few steps here you're going to need a google sheet you're going to need that sheet like the one i showed you to have two tabs you can call them whatever you like you're going to want a list of um, posts in one to loop through of course you could build an axiom to scrape a list of posts from hashtag pages for example that's pretty simple but presuming you've got that step done already, you can loop through a soup and put all your post links into one tab and we write all the results to the next. So you need your sheet set up. You'll need to replace the sheet in step one. That's pretty simple. Once you've hooked your Google um, sheet account up to Axiom, you just look for the sheet name or the sheet here, then the sheet names, I call them tabs. Now, I'll just show you the other steps you'll have to configure. You'll have to also configure the right step and put your own sheet in there and the delete sheet. If you want to build from scratch, it's as simple as going to the dashboard, start from blank, and then you just add steps. So the first step I started with here was read. 
simple as read step because that gives me a data set to then loop through and interact with. I've then used interact steps, etc., to, to interact with the UI. But let me just go through it in depth and step by step now. So you've got your first step set up. You pull in your post. Now my posts have been deleted there, but we're only going to go through one post at a time. Let me just put a link back in there so we get the previews on empty. So you can see the previews updated there now. So I only want to, because we're basically looping at the bottom here, I only want to pull in one row at a time because I'm going to jump back up once that row has been deleted and we're on to the next row. So to do pass only one row of data, I've set the, this read step to first cell A1, last cell to A1. In the preview, all I'm getting is column A. That's cool. Then I go to the interact step. The loop can be on, it can be off. It's only going to loop once. Now, I'm going to go to the page, go to page, and what we do is pass that URL in from the sheet. Simple as that. It's all point and click. It's pretty damn cool. Then, once I've got my sheet, I really need it to be in, so I can open Axiom on another page and just pick up where I left off, because I now need to be in Instagram. What I had to do here was basically um, set up this click step first. And all I needed to do is click select and click the, the likes button, point and click. If I press confirm, I can test it on screen and see it, see it open. That's pretty awesome, pretty simple. So I've got my click set up. Then I needed to do my scrape. Again, all I needed to do is select the data. To do that, all I do here is select link because I want the links. And then I'll just reset it and go through it again. Just reset. I set, set my type to link, and then I just found the outer div like this. Clicked again, and it does a repeating pattern. Press complete, that job is done. Now, here's the limit set. I'll, put, I'll save that in the template to 10, just for slightly bigger test, but here you can adjust to all, or set to just get 100, for example, depending on what you want to try. Obviously, the run will take longer, let's say, if it's got like half a million likes. I don't think, to be completely brutally honest, if you try and scrape 100 million likes, well, or 50, 500,000 even, I don't think Axiom probably will be able to extract that. I've never tried, but there's literally the amount of runtime it would take to do that. But my biggest concern would be that actually it's Instagram's API calls. So there only limit a certain amount of data you can load in the hour or per day and I think there'd be too many calls and the just data wouldn't refresh. So I think they also display a partial set in those likes, but it does give you enough to play with, enough to start building and using Instagram. So I'm just gonna collapse that step and continue. We then use append or merge step. And what we're doing here is literally taking the Google Sheet. So we're gonna take the post and we're gonna append that to the data we scrape. Why are we doing that? Because that gives us our, our nice grouping here when we output the data. So we know where that post came from. It gives us that contextual awareness that I talked about. Next, write data. Okay, so once you've scraped all that data and we've done our appending, we need to output that data. This is an output step, write data to Google Sheets. It's set up very much like the read. You find a sheet into the tab that you want. And then you can add the data here and there you can see I've got my dummy data there or the, the test data. One important thing to always remember, it has two states this step. You can either write over data if you want to clear it, but in most use cases, I think you add to existing data. So in this case, I'd recommend doing add to existing data. Otherwise, every time it loops through, it's gonna wipe over it. Okay, keep with me. We're on to our final two steps here delete rows from a Google Sheet. We're doing that because remember, we're like reading one row, we're gonna then scrape, we go back to it, delete that row, jumping around, loop, loop, like that. So we need a, a step to delete. Again, we're doing that from the, the tab where we've got the links in and you'll need to swap that out. Next, jump to another step. This is the jump step. This will basically take us all the way back to step one so we can start again. Now, if you wanna do 100 posts, put 100 in here or it's actually 99 because before it's gotten to this step, it would have done one 
loop. Cool, that is that. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Remember everything you learn building one bot on a site, you can apply that knowledge to other websites, other tasks you want to automate. Building bots is not like many API automations, they aren't constrained. You have lot sorry, have lots of freedom to go and create your bots and and very bespoke to what you want them to do. Cool. Thank you.